Ah, let's see. What does this box contain? What exactly does it contain? Come on, cut, 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 cut in there, please. Cut, please. Come on, penetrate. Penetrate! Penetrate! All right, so I'm going to just uh, open it from this side, I guess. Not the best scissors I'm using. Not the best ones. But let me see if I can just... There we go. All right, so let's just uh, see what we have here. Okay, there we go. There we go, a whole case. All right, let's see it. All righty, so we have ourselves a nice Empoleon tin. So these are pretty older tins from like two years ago with the V cards. So actually the Empoleon and the Tyranitar, let me actually get the Tyranitar real quick. Here we go, the Tyranitar tin. Both of these tins are really, really nice looking. But the reason is that I got a whole case of them is because I had heard that they could possess uh, Evolving Skies. And I think Walmart and uh, Target or whatnot, I, th I th think it's Target, Walmart, yeah. They restock on these casually. So we're going to see if these from that case do contain Evolving Skies. I mean, I've also also heard that um, other booster packs. All right, here we go. All right, so now let's just uh, let's go ahead and open it. Let's go ahead and open it. Let's go ahead and open it. Go ahead and open it. All righty. Starting with the Empoleon tin. Very nice. Very nice tin. Very nice tin. Let me uh, put the Empoleon right there. We got the Empoleon right here. Lovely Empoleon promo. Not bad, not bad. All right, Empoleon is a very cool Pokemon. Very cool Pokemon. All right, so the packs we have. Oh boy, oh boy. We have Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike. And, oh, yes, Evolving Skies, Evolving Skies, and Chilling Rain. Damn. All right, so you can add so actually I bought these for like around $18 of a box a tin on an eBay I'm not really sure if you can still find them, but there we go. Let's go. These are actually evolving skies tins Very nice beautiful Now they're really worth it. Yeah, definitely. I would risk I would definitely risk uh, buying these all right, let's go ahead and see what these uh, packs hold for us. Wow, this is amazing. Look at these are probably one of these are the best, uh, some of the best sword, uh, sword and shield packs. So let's start with Fusion Strike, the nice, uh, me no, the Bolton artwork. All right, let's cook. We got the Volpix, we got Mawile, we got Makuhita, Panpour, Suwaddle, Snom, and. Corvin, I not what we're cooking. Let's do Chilling Rain, cause uh, honestly, Fusion Strike for me is uh cooler than Chilling Rain, cause in Fusion Strike you can get the Mew, you can get the uh, Gengar, the Espeon, and whatnot. So let's see. Here we go. Here we go for Fusion. Uh, the Chilling Rain. We have Sobble, Ladybug, Squobit, Crab Roller, Grookey. Okay, Crab Roller once again. And oh, okay, lovely God of War. All right, God of War, uh, an artwork I have not seen before. Not gonna lie, ain't gonna lie. So let's go into Fusion Strike before we go into those Evolving Skies. I am so incredibly happy those packs contained Evolving Skies. Yeah, these are definitely worth the risk of uh, getting going to get them. So we'll actually see the Tyranitar tin also has the same um, the same packs. So that case is pretty good. We have the Snubble, Geodude, Sizzlepeed, Klefki, Pansage. All right, we got Marsh Tom and oh my land, another holographic Toxtricity. Toxtricity. Two evolving skies booster packs, like it says here. Let's see. All right, so with the tins, you never know. You never know if you can get something really nice from the tins. You never know. You never know. Okay, let's do this. We have the Seed Out. We have the Swablu, Sayayai, Rock and Rolla, Flabebe, 
I have Talonflame and Smear Goal. We got the Smear Goal. On to the last pack of this tin. Oh my gosh, Evolving. I'm actually, the fact that we got Evolving Skies as a pack is already got me, has already got me more excited than whatever we're getting out of this pack. All right, here we go. It looks like we got something. I just spoiled it. We got the Slack Alf, Emoga, Carvana, Bergmite, Nickit. We have Woobat. And for the last pack of the first 10, we have. We have. We have. All right. Volcarona V Full Art. Very nice. I'm a pretty big fan of the Volcarona. Um, did really thought I really thought there was a chance it could have been an alt art, but very cool. These tins are crazy. Let's go right into Tyrantar here. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's so let's just uh, let's just rip it open real quick, real quick. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, amazing, uh, amazing. Okay, let's do a Tyrantar. Let's cook. Let's cook, little pop. All right, here we go. Beautiful. I am so pumped that these have uh, evolving skies. I am so incredibly happy the gamble paid off. Man, that's crazy. That is crazy. All right, we have the lovely Tyranitar promo right here. Very nice. This is from the Battle Styles. And thankfully, there's no Battle Styles here. But yeah, we definitely have the Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike and two Evolving Skies with the Chilling Rain. This is a massive W. So I, uh, I've heard some of these tins actually may contain even three of these packs, three Evolving Skies. So it's actually crazy, though I've heard some of them could contain Brilliant Stars. But let's go right into the booster pack. Let's just start off with the Mew. Let's just start off with the Mew. Let's just get right into this. Let's get right into this. All right, we go. Sandy Gas. Yo, that off-centering, though, is crazy. Top to bottom, we have the Plusle. We got the Vulpix. Meltan. Toxel, here we go. What are we getting for this tin? We're getting Zora with Grimmsnarl. Okay, okay, a nice uh, Grimmsnarl right there. Anything cool here? Uh, it's a nice Zorok. That's a pretty cool Zorok. Let's just get right into the Fusion Strike again. Well, uh, last time I did Chilling Rain before the last Fusion Strike pack, but this time we'll whoa okay i'm sorry that's uh that just that's just how excited i am i'm sorry about that okay that was uh that was a little bit cringe I ain't gonna lie i know someone who would love this card we have the grubbin mankey pukumuku and to end off fusion strike a toxic croak damn fusion strikes again with the bad pull rate three packs we got the chilling rain little pups chilling rain all righty let's do this chilling rain okay i also like how these packs open up so nicely so very nicely all righty here we go we got the crab brawler golet porygon marie rock rough we got cresselia and nothing crazy ain't gonna lie ain't all right all right so let's get right into it let's get right into it here we go evolving skies actually let's do the sylveon first rayquaza is just good luck i mean i wouldn't mind a nice rayquaza altar that would go insane i go actually insane we got the zorua okay zorua hippopotas dwebble into love disc with Wow, bah. into Victini, and finally, here we go, Gigalith, man, these, these Sword and Shield packs are just something else with their pull rates, huh, well, I mean, we did get the Volcarona, last pack of Evolving Skies, boys, last pack of Evolving Skies, can we hit it? Oh my gosh, these tins, I mean, the fact that these tins just have Evolving Skies has me so pumped. They really do. They really have me pumped. Last pack. Here we go. Rog and Rolla, Bergmite, Nicket, Lillipup, Hippopotas, into Ice Q, with finally... 
Oh, my Lanta. Not what we were cooking. All righty. Well, boys, I appreciate y'all. We did end up getting the Volcarona with a bunch of holographics. And uh, yeah, from 10 packs, this is pretty much all we got with from Sword and Shield. Not exactly the best pull rates, but we did end up getting something really... The, the best pull was from Evolving Skies, technically. So, yeah. All right, guys. I appreciate y'all. Have a great one. And uh, stay tuned for my next videos.